bad audio people know, but bad stereo people just know it's uncomfortable. There's a part of like the user experience that feels uncanny or just not quite right, but they don't understand what it is that they're visually seeing that's wrong. Or painful or yeah. confusing if there's objects in the foreground that should be in the background or vice versa, you know? I remember, uh, do you remember when the... 3d tv started coming out like samsung and a couple companies and you could use their glasses to suddenly any television show or anything was suddenly in 3d and it's exactly what you're describing where it's like because none of those things were actually converted um and it wasn't like there was an algorithm running on it to try to right. depth map on the fly or anything it was just kind of um some things would be in your face and some things wouldn't. And there were so many things that I remember, like when it first came out, me and all my friends, like, you know, one of our friend's parents got one and we're like, cool, we got to watch the newest movie in 3D. We got to come over and watch it. And it's like, you would watch the movie and be like, my eyes hurt. And uh, there were a lot of scenes that for whatever reason, I don't know what was going on during them because my brain had trouble placing objects in the scene and having the contextual understanding of like, you know, we're so used to observing something from a perspective that we know, you know, but when those, like you're saying, it would have things happen where it's like the mountain would be as three dimensional as the guy talking in front of the mountain. And my brain's like, he's in the mountain. He's, I yeah. can't quite wear these things in relative three dimensional space. So how have you seen like 3D change over the years? Because it seems like now there is a intentionality brought into maybe the process of turning it into 3D 